Hey there, passionate football enthusiasts. Welcome back to Front Page Transfers, your ultimate hub for the hardest football narratives. Today, we've got a riveting tale that promises to shake the very foundations of the beautiful game. So, fasten your seatbelts, because we're about to dive deep into the fascinating world of Hope Sapi, the AI-generated football maestro set to challenge the mighty FIFA. Setting the stage. In the sprawling empire of FIFA, Gianni Infantino comfortably reclines in his presidential throne, re-elected and opposed until 2027. Having met the criteria to seek re-election, he had the opportunity to maintain his position and continue serving until the year 2031. In various regions across the globe, discontent and disillusionment with FIFA and its president, Gianni Infantino, persist due to an array of concerns encompassing disparities and imbalances within football, instances of human rights violations, and the perceived orchestrated certainty surrounding the hosting of the Men's World Cup in Saudi Arabia in the year 2034. The question echoes, is there a viable alternative? Enter Hope Sapi. Cue the entrance of a captivating alternative voice, ready to challenge the established norms. Enter Hope Sapi, a hypothetical FIFA presidential candidate with a unique twist. She's not your average contender. Sagni is the brainchild of artificial intelligence, meticulously crafted to comprehend the complexities of football, its intricate politics, and the myriad challenges it confronts. Aspiring to become FIFA's 10th president and potentially the first woman to hold this esteemed position, Hope Sagni aims to present a forward-thinking agenda, emphasizing a progressive vision for the organization and underscoring the pivotal contributions that women can make in the intricate realm of decision-making within the realm of international football governance. A manifesto for change. Imagine this, Sagni, stepping into the limelight, launching a campaign with a manifesto that boldly proclaims, football governance is broken. She's here to hold up FIFA's mirror, forcing a collective introspection on whether the beautiful game lives up to its name or if a century of misogyny has cast a shadow over its true potential. Sagni's origins. Now, you must be wondering, who's the mastermind behind Hope Sagni? Allow me to introduce Dark Horses, Twice Dadamai and the visionary CEO of Luz FC, Maggie Murphy. Sagni isn't just a product of algorithms and codes. She embodies the voices and experiences of influential women in football, including trailblazer Moya Dad, the former vice captain of Australia and a trailblazer as one of the initial women to join the FIFA Council, aspires to serve as a unified and unattributed spokesperson, advocating for the perspectives and concerns of women in the realm of football. Sagni's stance on gender equality. Sagni serves as a strategic instrument dedicated to advancing the narrative that the presence of women in influential positions within the realm of football governance should be regarded as a norm rather than an anomaly, aiming to dispel any lingering perception of novelty in such appointments. Furthermore, she underscores the abundance of highly qualified women within the sport who possess the requisite expertise for governance roles across all echelons. As a distinctive voice representing this cadre of accomplished women in football, Sagni is meticulously crafted to embody their collective perspective, enabling her to articulate alternative viewpoints to those entrenched by FIFA without the apprehension of facing retribution. Sagni speaks out. When questioned about the equitable funding of women's and men's football by FIFA, or the possibility of tilting the scales in favor of the women's game, Sagni responds with eloquence, advocating for the organization to ardently pursue fairness and equity in financial allocations for both genders. Expressing the importance of investing in the development of both branches of the sport, she also highlights the need to rectify historical disparities and insufficient investment in women's football. Sagni suggests a nuanced approach, proposing a weighted strategy that places emphasis on fostering the development and expansion of women's football, all while ensuring sufficient support for the men's counterpart. The overarching objective, as articulated by her, is to cultivate a more balanced and inclusive landscape for the sport as a whole. Tackling the tough questions. Delving into the critical discourse surrounding the prospective hosting of the 2034 World Cup by Saudi Arabia, Sagni articulates a perspective that underscores the significance of examining the human rights and equality implications associated with such a decision. Emphasizing the need for FIFA to thoroughly weigh the consequences of its choices on the global football community and the values it upholds, she advocates for a comprehensive assessment of the host country's commitment to human rights, gender equality, and inclusivity before arriving at a final verdict. Upon further inquiry regarding the potential racial undertones of advocating against Gulf states like Saudi Arabia and Qatar hosting World Cups, Sagni provides a nuanced response, asserting the importance of evaluating host countries based on their dedication to fundamental principles such as human rights, gender equality, and inclusivity, irrespective of their geographical location. She emphasizes the necessity of directing the focus towards promoting fairness and inclusivity in the selection process, steering clear of singling out specific regions and instead emphasizing universal values in the pursuit of a just and inclusive approach. Sagni on football's dark side. Now, let's shift gears to the darker side of football, the Louis Rubiales ban, 
the delayed acknowledgement of issues in Spanish football. Sagni isn't holding back. She sees the ban as a powerful message against misconduct, but when it comes to Spain's delayed response to player complaints, she highlights the need for a more inclusive and supportive environment for women in football. Tackling sexual abuse and power imbalances. Here's where Sagni truly shines. How does FIFA tackle sexual abuse and power imbalances within the sport? According to Sagni, it's about comprehensive safeguarding policies, education on consent, and addressing power imbalances through gender equality initiatives. It's a nuanced approach that reflects a thoughtful perspective often missing in the world of football. Technology and football's future. These responses from Sagni are more than just words, they represent a paradigm shift. Thoughtful answers on critical issues are a rare commodity, and Sagni a fusion of football and cutting-edge technology, showcases that AI can challenge power structures in unprecedented ways. Closing thoughts. And there you have it, dear football enthusiasts, the rise of hope Sapi, the AI-powered voice challenging FIFA's norms. It's a refreshing take on how technology can be wielded to question and reshape power structures. As football and AI become increasingly intertwined, who knows what other surprises are in store? Stay tuned, front page transfers family, because the game is evolving, and so are we. Until next time, keep the football spirit alive.